So good morning. This is Lydia Knox. I'm an artist, a witch, and an astrologer, and I come to you from Monday to Friday with the two days of astrology so that you're prepared and ready. <laughs> I can handle the astrology weather out there, and I give you some magic to do. So today is Wednesday, which is Woden's Day, which is also governed by Jupiter. So there's a lot of luck, a lot of energy, a lot of positive feeling going on there. So take advantage of that uh, while you can, because uh, this is a great time to do magic that will bring you s some extra cash and some extra money, especially if you're a small business creative. Uh, we need all the help we can get in this environment. So... All right, I'm going to dive right into the astrology as per usual. So the moon uh, is going to enter into Leo as of 10.59 a.m. today, Eastern Standard Time. So right now we're in the uh, void, of course, moon in, still in Cancer. And what does that mean? That means until 11 o'clock, things are going to move a little slowly. We may feel a little bit more vulnerable, a little bit more emotional, it's uh, great to put off making any big decisions until after 11 a.m. today, which is great um, because, uh, you know, you don't want to uh, you don't want to make any commitments or 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 do anything when the moon is void. Of course, it's kind of like an emotion, emotional void. It's like Mercury going retrograde, but it's more on an emotional level. That's what the moon void, of course, means. So um, after that, though, uh, things really start to, you know, ship shape into, into action because the moon in Leo inspires us to be creative, generous, outgoing, um, personable. It's ruled by fire. So, you know, it's time to, to kind of feel passionate about what we, what we love and to, uh, you know, to develop our sense of confidence and our sense of inner strength and uh and and allow it allow our personality to shine out even those of you who are introverts this is a good time to work on developing your sense of self-confidence so not only that i have more news yes there's more um, mercury is going to sail into sagittarius after being in scorpio for a good time uh, where, you know, it was all about secrets and hidden knowledge and investigation and uh, working with your shadow self and, um, you know, covering things up and uh, being fearful and just say what you need to say. Uh, now it is in Sagittarius, so uh, now it's time to open the doors, open the windows, to uh, express ourselves, to not be afraid uh, our sense of humor is going to be increased. So plan for something fun today, you know, just do something creative and fun and, uh, and light and merry, uh, whatever that means to you. I mean, for me, it might mean, uh, you know, starting to put up some holiday decorations or, or I might, um, I might do some paintings that are just fun for me right? And just get into that creative zone where I'm having a good time. So uh, the moon uh, also connects with Iris, which is an asteroid. And the goddess Iris is the Iris is the goddess of the rainbow of hope, of uh, good feeling. And uh, that inspires our intelligence and our creative talents. And uh, allows us to uh, express ourselves even more. So make sure you take advantage of this because the great thing about astrology, when the going gets good, get going into the good, right? You know, and then when <laughs> when things go bad, shelter into place, right? As long as you're kind of going with the flow, you, you'll find that things are uh, a little bit better than if you're going against the flow. So... Uh, with that, I was going to talk about tomorrow. Uh, most of you in the States are going through uh, Thanksgiving, uh, Thanksgiving period. And uh, yeah, there's a, there's a big, uh, big 
T's, well, Grand Cross happening that's uh, falling into place. So this is astrology talk for shit show. <laughs> So, so um, we have the moon in Leo, which uh, in its negative uh, aspects has to do with pridefulness, has to do with boasting, has to do with being difficult. And um, the moon also uh, will square with Uranus and Taurus. So there's like a sense of stubbornness, a sense of unpredictability, a sense of shakeup, and a, a sense of confrontation. And it also squares with Mars in Scorpio. It's the last planet left in Scorpio right now. And that could mean vengeance, that could mean envy, that could mean uh, trying to control things. And it also squares with Saturn in Aquarius. So there's this big ball of tension that's going to be served up during your Thanksgiving dinner. So here's the survival guide. The thing about Grand Crosses is they inspire us to make big changes within ourselves. So uh, make peace with those things that you can't control. Uh, I, I love the saying, it is what it is. This is one of my favorite sayings when it comes to trying to control something that I cannot, right? Uh, I can't control how other people react towards me. I can't control whether they like me or not. I can't uh, control what their opinions are. I can't control, you know, what happens tomorrow. Um, no, I mean, those, all those things are out of my control. So what's in my control is how I present myself, how I feel about myself, the boundaries that I make and respecting my boundaries. Other people can choose not to respect my boundaries, but it's up to me to make sure that I stand firm in my boundaries. And uh, so if you're in a toxic situation, expect people who are toxic to not appreciate your boundaries, to you know, um, want you to change or to want to control something that they can't control. So it, you know, that happens. So, uh, yeah. And, uh, and it'll be served with food and alcohol. So all of those people out there who struggle with addictions, um, this could be a bit of a problem. Uh, the, there's an asteroid called, um, Hymea which is related to the idea of hubris and it is in Pisces and it will square against Mercury. So the temptation to have a little drink to kind of survive the crazy shit uh, is going to be really strong. And it's important that we don't overdo it because then things get out of control. Then the shit hits the fan. Uh, try and keep things uh, simple and clear and try and stay clear headed and uh, don't try to escape through um, using something because uh, the escape isn't going to happen. It's actually going to end up being something worse. So keep that in mind just for tomorrow, right? <laughs> you know, um, you know, namaste and all that. <laughs> just, you know, stay, try and stay as zen as possible, as calm and cool and collected. And if you need to just go out for a walk and, and get a, breath of fresh air and avoid getting enmeshed in any drama that will probably occur guaranteed okay so with that I'm going to talk about magic <laughs> exciting all right so magic right now um because uh it's Wednesday it's uh, the day ruled by Jupiter it's a good time to work on accumulating some wealth right I mean, and a lot of artists, and I've been talking about this between other artists that I know and artist coach, Rachel Wilkins, I call you out. She's an awesome coach if you ever need one, um, are talking about the fact that uh, and things are really tough for artists, right? So here's the thing. Uh, we need to price our work so uh, according to its value. Most of us have gone to school have been educated on how to do design and painting. Um, paints cost money, 
brushes cost money our time is money and um our hard work is money too and an art a piece of art is something that you can appreciate for the rest of your life right it's something that uh, could be valued i've inherited some art from my grandfather he patronized an uh, artist in the czech republic and I, I really value this work of art that I've gotten through my family tree. So um, the idea hit is I'm not uh, trying to feel sorry for myself, but I'm just trying to say, um, if you, you know, if you go into a big box store, you don't get that. You don't get the magic. If you go in, you know, if you order from uh, uh, somewhere online that is not a small business, you don't get the magic. You, uh, you know, you help pollute the earth. You um, maybe end up with something that you'll just enjoy for a little while, but you won't be able to pass it along to your family. And, uh, you know, it's it's just not worth it. I mean, like, it, it really isn't. And I'm not saying support me. I'm saying support every artisan that you can see out there. Uh, give them some a little bit of help because, you know, because things are prices are inflated and uh we're all struggling here as small businesses but small businesses are what make community beautiful and that's saturn and aquarius energy right there right you know by uh supporting the hard work of artisans you're actually making your community a better place so something to keep in mind and i <laughs> so with that i'm going to say stay creative stay magical and if you're catching me on youtube please like and share and subscribe that helps me i'll t i'll see you guys tomorrow take care bye